In this video, I'm going to discuss one of the most divisive topics in the BVI sailing community, Bodie Ball. Be sure to stick around until the end to find out where I stand and my biggest issue with the service. First of all, what is a mooring ball? Mooring balls provide a safe and secure alternative for boats to anchor without causing harm to coral reefs, and it is the preferred method of tying up your boat in the BVI. A mooring ball is a large buoy anchored to the ocean floor with a strong chain that boats can tie up to. I have a video about tying a bowline knot, which will help in this process. I'll link it up in the card above. By using a mooring ball, boats can stay in place without dropping an anchor, which helps to preserve the health and beauty of the coral reefs. In addition to protecting coral reefs, using mooring balls also helps to manage anchoring of boats in large areas which can reduce conflicts between boaters over limited anchoring spots. Overall, the use of mooring balls is an important conservation measure that helps protect the marine environment while supporting the tourism industry of the British Virgin Islands. There is a love-hate relationship with Bodie Ball in the BVI though. Bodie Ball is a web-based application that allows boaters to reserve mooring balls, pay for selected first-come, first-served moorings, make dinner reservations, request dockage, and much more while in the British Virgin Islands. Bodie Ball was founded in 2018 as a reservation system for mooring balls. Now they did not add any additional mooring balls, they just set aside some for reservation. And currently there are two types of moorings in the Bodie Ball program. Reservable mooring balls for $55 per night, or first come first serve moorings for $30 to $40 per night. There are also first come first serve mooring balls that are not a part of the Bodie Ball program. So what does the program look like? Well, Bodie Ball allows for same day reservations beginning at 7 a.m. You can purchase a 24 hour advance registration upgrade now for $579 that gives you seven consecutive days of advance reservations. These advanced registration upgrades are limited to a small number of purchases in a given week. So what are the main benefits of Bodie Ball? Well, many of the main anchorages such as Cooper Island and Great Harbor on Joost van Dijk can be very crowded in the high season in the BVI. Reserving a mooring ahead of time allows you to enjoy your day and not have to be in a hurry knowing that you'll have a mooring ball reserved and waiting for you when you get there. However, the biggest issues that most people have or number one, having to get up early to reserve, only to find a lot of the balls are gone in seconds for some of these locations. The second main issue, and this is the big one, is arriving at the reserve mooring ball to find someone on it. This is an issue that Bodie Ball is trying to address. The best way is to notify Bodie Ball because they are implementing permanent suspensions of people's accounts who squat on mooring balls that they haven't reserved. Now that we know what Bodie Ball is, let's look at how to use it. To get started using the app, go to bodyball.com and click Boater Application. Create an account and look for a confirmation email. After confirming the account, enter your boat information and payment method under the account profile. You must have a current boat in your profile in order to make a reservation. This is very important. So, to reserve a mooring. Most people will use Bodie Ball on their phone while they're on charter. So I've set up a shortcut on my phone that quickly takes me to the application. So once you log in and you've got your profile set up and your boat selected, you'll see the mooring balls in the application. Reservable moorings are made every morning at 7 a.m. local time. They are bright orange, numbered, and can only be paid for at bodieball.com. Orange moorings in the application are available for reservation. Gray moorings have already been reserved. It's important to zoom all the way in though because you'll see at this range of zoom it looks like there's balls available. However, when you zoom all the way in, you can see that all these gray balls are reserved. To reserve, go to your desired bay in the application and select an orange mooring. Tap on reserve. This reserves your mooring and you have four minutes to complete the transaction. Select pay to pay for your transaction. Once a transaction is completed, a red flag will appear in the location of your reserve mooring ball. You will also receive a confirmation email. Check-in and check-out for reservable moorings is 12 p.m. First come, first serve moorings in the Bodie Ball program are white buoys 
with orange Bodhi Ball stickers on them. These moorings appear blue in the application. Once tied up and secured to a mooring, log into your account at BodhiBall.com. Then use the application to select a blue mooring in your current bay. The mooring number is not relevant for first come first serve moorings. The application will ask you to confirm that you are tied up to a first come first serve Bodhi Ball mooring. Read the terms and select I agree. Press the pay button and you're done. You'll receive an email verification of your payment. Keep this as it is proof of your payment for your stay. So why do so many people dislike the Bodhi Ball program? Well, I think it boils down to things being new and different. I began sailing in the BVI in 2019. Bodhi Ball was already in place, so I really don't know any difference. Many of the old salts like how things were done before. First come, first serve mooring balls or dropping an anchor. The only real difference today is that some of those mooring balls can be reserved ahead of time. However, don't let this cause you any stress. If you already get up early and you want to log on to Bodhi Ball and get a ball, awesome. For some anchorages, all of the balls are gone in less than a minute. On our last trip, this happened to me when I tried to get a reservation in Great Harbor. We reserved a ball in Little Harbor as a backup plan and switched up our adventure a little bit. And we had a blast. So remember, don't stress, be flexible, and have a good time. Bodhi Ball is just another option that enables you to accomplish this. But it's not the only way. The only real issue I have with Bodhi Ball is the size of the number on the ball. In a crowded anchorage on a moving boat, it can sometimes be tricky to tell if that's a one or a seven. That's why it's important to take note of where your ball is on the map, making it much easier to find. For more tips on how to plan, enjoy, and remember your sailing adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and come aboard. I'll see you in the next one.